You ready to go, baby? Yeah. You ready to go for it, G? Why is he ready to go, baby? Get up, I'm going to trust my T.R. I'm going to go. Okay. Oh, ready. Get ready to go here. Folks, I got the Arcteryx Breeze loaded down. Now, yeah, these bottles add a little bit of weight, but the ladies put their drinks in there last night. Got one on each side. Got this RX100 just kind of mounted here for still photography. This thing is loaded down way too heavy. So what I've got inside this pack is a, a big, one of those big, thick, heavy waterproof bags. Uh, and I just dropped it down in there. Folks, I think it's armed with about three German beers, four Sam Big Lake torpedoes, four things of water, and a whole bag of ice. That thing is heavy to be going up the Kilia Oak Mountain. But with beer and ice, you know, as you go up the mountain, and by the time we get up to the top, all that should be depleted. So if I can somehow make it at least halfway to we drink some of that shit, I'll make it. But I'm, I'm not lying, it is heavy. Um, we got Jason picking us up at 8.30. It is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. There is not a cloud in the sky. I don't know if you can see that because of the, well, let me, let me flick an ND filter on here and show you the blue sky. Oh, look at that blue sky. Go to two. So you can see what we're working with right here. Oh my goodness. It is going to be a hot one today. But we chose today just out of the blue to take our fat asses up that mountain. Uh, we've been up the mountain before. Uh, Fatima wasn't going to go because she's like, I've already been up that mountain before. And then she, she finally just broke down and said, yeah, uh, if uh, Jason will watch, if Jason's wife was going to watch Forrest G, then uh, Fatima is going to join us up the mountain. So, so that's what we're doing today, folks. I want to thank everybody for joining us on today's little adventure. If you're not a subscriber, if you'll hit that Overstay Road sign right there. Oh, shit, wrong side. Bottom right-hand corner of your screen. <laughs> that was my right-hand corner. The bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Hit that Overstay Road sign. Smash that bell. And get on board our train. Food, beer, visas, bad behavior, barbecue. A lot of beer drinking. <gasps> All right, let's roll out, ladies. Let's do it. Let's do it. No time like a present. Embark on this little adventure. Hey, uh, Fatima, can you carry that backpack for me, baby? That's heavy. Folks, that's the mountain we're about to head up. Those white rocks on the top, that is our destination. We'll get another view from uh, Jason's house. Ladies, let's go. We're leaving you. Carry that for me. Come on, baby. Ladies. That tripod is heavy. We're carrying this big backpack. You ready to go, baby? Yeah. Folks, look around Jason's yard. Got the roosters going on this morning. All right, Jason, we'll be back, man. Okay. If me and Fatima die, take good care of for us, G. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. All right, folks, we're we're just now stepping out. Forrest G went in there with Jason's daughter, his favorite favorite lady, so he's happy. And then we're just gonna stop here and take a picture and yeah. take a gander. Okay, this is what we're about to climb. If you look right up there to the top, you can see those white rocks. And they've painted the rocks white up there. You can see this mountain from all around. It's called Bakilia Oak. I call it Mystery Mountain or the mini Mount Everest, but I call it Mystery Mountain. You'll have to check out my previous video about the old crazy dude that built a house up there, the uh, retired guy. I'm just gonna take a shortcut. Don't buy me dog. Oh, easy, easy. What's a dog? Road is close. Whoa! Almost had a broken leg here. Watch the uh Watch the hole, Pop. Watch the hole. Wait lang Are you okay, honey? Yeah. Or did you break it? No. Wait lang. 
Dito lang eh. May aso din siya ba diyo ka? Oh, I got some hard work too. You want to carry a backpack up a mountain? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Coming through right here. And just for perspective, let me get one zoom in on you here. That is where we're going. Right up there. What's your name, brother? Michael. Michael? Angelo. Angelo. Michael and Angelo building this wall right here in the hot sun. Alright, my friends. We'll see you on the way out. All right, this is where I was going to get my turkeys, but it looks like this lot's for sale and my turkeys are gone. No more turkeys over here, Fatima. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Hi. I feel like we've already accomplished this. Not quite yet. <laughs> What is that? Got the trash truck in the way. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, all right. Morning. Folks, got old kind of action here. This is the entrance to the trail. Good morning. <laughs> We're just now about to hit the trailhead. I was not drunk on this mountain. Well, I might have been. stories on you, man. The thing about this mountain, if you haven't watched my other previous videos, is that you get gut checked immediately. I mean, you know, one second we were talking to the people, taking their trash out, and the next minute you were basically on a little vertical climb. Oh, shit. Ah. Now I'm packing way too much weight. I do not recommend that you pack a lot of weight coming up this mountain. So bring some fucking water. Don't put a case of beer and a bag of ice and an Arcteryx Breeze 32 liter. I just can't recommend it. But I'm gonna have plenty to drink. Right the first to start of this mountain, you get gut checked. I'm digging holes or something. Looks like they're digging a First footer. Leg. Yeah, they're digging some footer holes or something here. Some the ladies here. need some water? Yeah. Coming right up. I'm so thirsty. Trust me, I want you ladies to drink some water so it makes my pack lighter. <laughs> Come on, baby. Now folks, when I'm on these ground, when I'm on, got boots on the ground here in the Philippines, I'm always thinking about World War II history. Soldiers, Marines, troops that were, that were here fighting. I thought you were staying home. You know, both the, uh, all sides, let's just say it, all troops that were fighting. I'm not getting into the politics. I just want to talk about the physical terrain. You know, there's mountains like this all over this country. So can you imagine? I mean, we're just out here on a leisurely day being hikers, climbing this mountain. No big deal, right? But it's kicking our ass. This rock right here is a good stopping point. Janice called it level three because it's underneath the shade. All 
All right, so that tree right behind, well, the tree right there, it's got a rock, big old rock. It's a nice shady area. That's a good stopping point. Take a break right there. You know, you can uh, see almost, almost to the summit, but you really can't see the summit from here. Uh, just from the angle of the dangle. Beautiful views, spectacular views. What else can I say? And once you hit, hit that, what she called a third level, I wouldn't count levels, but once you hit that tree and that rock, you've actually got a pretty nice little gradual incline along this ridge line. So you can make progress and give yourself a break on this spot. But I've had so many people, I don't want to say so many, but Francis has told me that I guess people have watched my video and they come out here and they want to climb the mountain. And what the locals say is a trike will pull up, foreign guy will try to walk up the hill for like 10 minutes and then he comes down and leaves. So if I didn't re reiterate this fact in my previous videos, this thing is a gut check from the first steps. It's like being on one of those stair masters or climbing really steep stairs. You know, not the nice gradual stairs. I'm talking the steep fucking stairs like in, like you see in a fucking, you know, townhouse type deal in Southeast Asia here. It's like a ladder. So if you come out here not prepared or just not ready to gut check yourself when you first step off, you're gonna quit right away. But realize the stair, the stair master, the stairs are at the beginning, and then you've got a gradual walk on this ridge line. You'll see Janice sitting up there. I don't know if you can see her over my shoulder. But uh, it just goes from stair master to sort of easy walking. You got to get down and crawl on a few of these rocks up here. I was hurting, but now my legs are feeling really good just with this little easy walking break I got going on. Come, baby. That's death right there. That's death if you step off of this one. You're going down to the bottom. Folks, still no sign of Fatima, Eric, or Mercy. I think they're just taking an extended break, but who knows? Um, like I said, folks, this thing, it's a lot harder for me to climb than it was two years ago when I first come up here. I was in a lot better shape then. Between the lockdowns, my cooking shows, and just being fucking lazy. And drinking too much beer it is kicking my ass to get up here this time i'm not gonna lie let me just show you for reference where we were okay right there when we come down that road we ran into the garbage truck about right there and then if i zoom out i don't know if you can get the full perspective but we've made a significant change in elevation already beautiful looking over the bay Janice is steadily making her way up this thing. Beautiful girl. It's got a little crawling action going on right here. That's not blood? Alright, well that's good. Not exactly a technical time to climb. But sometimes you gotta stretch it out. Get that right toe hold, that right foot hold. To keep going forward. Oh, folks, we paused and waited for a little bit. We still don't see the rest of our expedition coming up the hill, but we all agreed that it was no race. There's no race to get it to the top. And for me, I have to hike my own hike. I can't hike somebody else's hike and I can't help hike somebody else's speed. I have to hike my own hike 
and for me it's a slow and steady not an airborne shuffle but it's blue suede shoes just putting one step in front of the other at a slow roll and not stopping if I stop and take a break I won't want to get up and continue All right, go ahead darling careful just stay low if you start to fall sit down on your booty there you go baby good job all right so somebody else has been up here recently they left their fucking water bottle pick up your trash people now, folks it becomes a little bit technical when you get close to the summit the sun's blocking or the summit is blocking it but see that flat thing that's the concrete slab and that's the top rocks so we push just up this little final push here start to wear some gloves but there's a uh, just a lot of soot don't worry about getting dirty here's where we're going it's concrete slab poured by the crazy retired American Air Force guy that paid the villagers to come up here pour the slab build them a house or him and his Filipino could live up here and enjoy this view And what a view it is. I don't know if that gentleman's dead. I think we came the wrong way. We should have come that way. I think this gentleman is dead. But this is the remnants. This concrete slab. That he left behind. His legacy. The legacy that he lived up here. Come on up baby. They're coming? Okay baby. Come on up. All right, folks, Janice summited. Here's the rocks that are painted white. We'll go up there later. But the thing about it, there's always a lot of bugs up there in between those rocks. There you go. All right, folks, finally made it to the summit. Whew. I should have weighed this. I really should have weighed this thing. But let me just show you what I got inside here. Holy shit. Again, this is the Arc'teryx Breeze. 32 liter. It's got twin turbo water bottles. Ugh. Those take up weight, but the ladies wanted to use them. Wanted to test them out. Ugh, I mean, nice scarf. All right, folks. This. Move more. This is what was in the bag. That was so important to get up here. And Janice, if you'll come over here and just take a look down into this bag, darling. I'm gonna take one ice cube out to wash my hands with. But what's in there? It's the water. Okay. Then I think they have a beer. <laughs> of course, there's some they beer, have honey. A sunrig light in <laughs> it looks like Eric's taking a nap. <laughs> Come on up here, man. I got cold beer on top of the mountain. Lay down, oh my god. Folks, they got a ways to go. Fatima's got my tripod. Do you want me to get that? Yeah, can you run down there and get the tripod? <laughs> yeah, baby. I need the tripod. <laughs> <laughs> now reach down to that bottom baby no 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 keep reaching i want a german beer there's a can a big can down in the bottom okay potter potter boner pilsner beer, brewed according to the joint german purity law maybe you drink some of my beer get some nutrients eric Bro, I got cold German beer waiting on you. And I think I got four sand make lights. If I mind, I got some cold water for you. But folks, it's good to be back on top of Bakilia Oak Mountain. I call it Mystery Mountain because where I'm standing right now, uh, 
As the legend, the story goes, retired Air Force guy from the States, built a house up here with his Filipina. He paid all the local villagers uh, 100 pesos a load. So if you brought up a load of concrete, here's 100 pesos. You brought up a piece of plywood, here's, here's 100 pesos. Uh, the guy had a generator up here. So basically the story goes, anything you brought up here. Now he had a generator, lights, so people were shuttling uh, fuel up here. Here's 100 pesos. The dude is just sitting up here all by himself with this beautiful view, his beautiful Filipina. They said he'd come down on the weekends. They would go out to the bars, the restaurants, what have you. And they come back up here. And then one day, him and his Filipina came down off the mountain. There was supposedly chismas, gossip, that they broke up and he never came back. And after about six months or a year, the villagers said, I guess the foreign guy's not coming back, so they pilfered the house. <laughs> they basically stole the house, but they couldn't figure out how to steal the the concrete slab and we're left with the slab. It's a beautiful flat slab. Um, now you got these rocks right here, but you could basically come in here and frame this up, you know, and just live like he did. And what we're talking about doing is coming up here and camping out for a couple nights right here on the spot and just in his memory, um, enjoying the view for a couple nights. And I'll just drink a beer to you, sir. If you were retired back, you know, 20 years ago when they last, last saw you, you may, be a, you may be passed on from this world and into the next one. You could be in a nursing home or, hell, you could be living over in Angeles City at the Titty Bar right now, for all I know. But if anybody has any more information about the gentleman who lived up here or this house that he built up here, um, please share it with us because nobody seems to know much about that guy's legend it's like i guess everybody who knew about him and knew about this they've they're old and they've passed on or moved on or what have you but i'd love to know the rest of the story oh my god folks i didn't drink nothing since i left the house you know they sip water on the way up and like i said you hike your own hike i don't like to drink on my way up i don't like to stop i like to slow move get up here because that beer tastes so much better after a hard day's work and this it just takes me back to when I was working with my dad and my uncle working construction all damn day riding home after a hot day working construction in a Ford F-150 long wheelbase with a three-speed on the tree things an 83 model no air conditioning no by the way the heater was fucked up and it was locked so it was constantly pumping out heat but too broke to fix it but you know how we rode home every day? Windows down, goddamn cooler of beer, and we drank beer all the way home. Folks, over my left shoulder, got some type of jet going down. I don't know if she can capture that. It's far off in the distance. Okay, but we have had uh, some activity with military jets recently. Then you saw a few weeks ago, we had uh, the Air Force trainers flying in formation. How can you, how can you not love it? Folks, Subic Bay. You know, we got boats, we got camping, we got water, we got the beach, we got fishing, we got military aircraft flying around, we got mountains, we got views. <sighs> Living the dream. I know you're over there listening to my voice, freezing your ass off in the States, working the grind. A lot of you guys divorced, your old lady left you, took all your money, you got no girlfriend, just can't wait to get back over here, or, you know, wherever your, uh, your girlfriend is, whatever country in the world. I got it. I got it, but I'm here representing you, and I appreciate you watching my video. That's what allows me to live this lifestyle. Shout out to everybody who gives us a thumbs up, a thumbs down, subscribes, watches my videos, leaves a beautiful comment, leaves a colorful comment, uh, talks about my hair being too short, or anything else you want to talk about. Thank you, because you allow me to drink beer on top of this mountain with these beautiful ladies. Somebody got to do it. I'm gonna summit this here thing. If you come up here, I don't recommend that you drink beer and climb this last leg because you're tired. And you're gonna slam a beer. Don't do as I do, just do as I say. And basically just, just come around the horn here. It's the easiest way to do it. But realize that this vegetation is covering nothing. Don't step on that right there. There's rock under that vegetation, but there's not right there. Hey, honey, can you hold my beer? Hold on, let me get a drink. 
hold that beer baby till I navigate this just get a good grip on there folks I'll pull your fat ass up here and this is what the other side looks like my past video we walked all the way over to that ridge line let me just check out this view Honey, I didn't come up here to sleep, but I know that's all you're thinking about is my tulip, my tulip, my tulip, my tulip. Now this is usually where all the bugs are, but Janice is chilling in the shade and there are no bugs. All right, let me climb on up here, baby. Play king of the hill. You don't want to go there, huh? Somebody's carved into these rocks and shit. I got mixed emotions about that because if the ancients had not carved into the rocks or made glyphs and stuff like that, we wouldn't know much about them. But these days, these days it's uncool to number one, leave your trash and number two, carve into the rocks. But if there was a huge electromagnetic pulse, the jackasses carving in these rocks would be the only ones with who left their mark on the world. All right, so here you go. Here's the gentleman's slab. You can kind of see, kind of see how big his house was. Now he didn't get these rocks out of the way, but I'm assuming, I don't know, maybe he put his bed over them rocks or whatever to maximize the space. You like the views of the beach? You know what's that? What's that, baby? I don't know. That's why it's a concrete plant over there. Looks like, folks. I gotta. I gotta push my luck and get on top of the summit. I'm not gonna stand up, but I am gonna sit up here. I'm going there and I'm Sweet girl. Eric, I got a beer waiting on you, man, as soon as y'all get up here, brother. I think we are sleeping. He may be taking a nap. Folks, like we said, don't don't get in a race to get to the top. You hike your own hike. I mean, this is you can make an all-day trip out of this and easily get up here. Folks, let me show you perspective. There's Janice. And then there they are on the trail, making their way up. Nothing better than just putting in a physical rigorous workout with some type of objective in mind right I've never been a person that likes to go to the gym I don't like to go in there and smell all the fucking testosterone and the goddamn you know dudes squeaking out steroid laden farts and fucking stink up the goddamn place oh. eating their fucking way going to the bathroom that smells like 18 baboons took a fucking shit after you know eating burritos all night I, I'm not into that I did like and I do like going to Muay Thai to a small gym where usually I'm the only guy there running doing a Muay Thai workout you know fuck the weights and all that shit I'm not trying to fucking gain weight that's the silliest thing I've ever heard to be honest with you life life is better if you fucking lose weight so I'm not, I'm not into fucking gyms. I'm not into a goddamn treadmill where the scenery don't change or you're watching TV getting programmed by the fucking media for an hour while you're trying to improve your physical health. I'm not into that. Stationary bicycle? Nope. Here, here's what I like. Instead of a, 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 a fucking treadmill, how about a real fucking track, a real fucking road? Take your ass somewhere. Enjoy the fucking scenery. You know, enjoy the fucking environment that you live in. And if you don't enjoy the environment, what I want you to do, there's a thing that's called moving. Pick up and fucking move. Pretty fucking simple, right? If your environment is so toxic, whether, you know, it's noise pollution, you're fucking locked down like in New York or fucking the UK, shit like that. Okay, move. Get your ass out of there. That's the easiest thing to do. So speaking of moving going back to the workout you know hiking this little mountain on a day trip it's an objective it's an experience i feel good that i made it you know i drug my fat ass up to this fucking rock and i'm, I'm up here right now the king of the fucking mountain holding court just me panoramic views
Hmm, felt like a little tremor. Panoramic views, uh, Pinatubo somewhere over that way in the distance. And I didn't spend a fucking hour or two on a sweaty ass, stinky ass gym on a goddamn bicycle that takes me nowhere. Or a fucking treadmill that takes me nowhere. There is no experience in that whatsoever. It makes no sense that people pay a hundred bucks a month. And if you're a gym owner, hey man, I'm, I'm whatever. Everybody's got their opinion. It makes no sense to me that people will pay a hundred bucks a month to go fucking ride on a bicycle that takes them nowhere. When you could pay a hundred dollars and buy a bicycle that can take you anywhere and everywhere. See how that works? Spend a hundred bucks a month to run on a treadmill that takes you fucking nowhere. Or you could buy yourself a new pair of shoes that'll take you anywhere and everywhere. And yeah, these are just my thoughts while I'm sitting up here holding court on the top of Bakilia O Mountain. On this rock, I'm at the top, the top point at this point. And I did act like an idiot and stand up and take a couple pictures. Janice punked me out, peer pressured me into taking some pictures while standing on this rock. I don't recommend that. Because my fucking legs are jello and they're shaking like Elvis at one of his early concerts. And going on the way down this thing, they'll be shaking even worse. Every time I come off this mountain, my legs are just shaking and they're jello. And it takes us about a week or two to recover. But damn, it's worth it. Let me show you the thing about this shirt, right? This is a pretty cool shirt. I've been wearing this shirt for years by Craig Hoppers. But it's a pretty, pretty nice looking shirt. It's got a couple pockets here. Like in this one here, it's got a little zippered security pocket. But folks, right here, it's got this pocket. This big ass pocket, you know? And I usually put my passport, my tickets in there, right? But if you're up here on top of the mountain and you don't got a beer holder, you just unzip that bad boy right there and it will hold a tall boy. Gotta love this damn shirt. My goodness. Does your shirt have a built-in beer holder? Oh, this is also, uh, you can go on Craig Hopper's site. It's called Nazi Life, whatever. It's like embedded anti-mosquito protection. Now, this thing's so damn old and ain't got no none of that shit left in it but it's still a good damn shirt to keep the sun off of you it's got this big ass collar on the back that'll actually fold up and block the sun on your neck if you want to before the rest of our expedition gets up here i'm just going to give you a look around okay over in that direction is subic town you can see the cranes and stuff over there so like right in that area is uh subic market Um, these mountains here, you'll pan over, coming over here, this is Snake Island, Snake Island there, you've got Hanjin Shipyard, and if you basically go over that, over those mountains, over in that direction is Seelong Inn, where we went camping. Okay, come on over here, I know there's a lot of wind noise, that little island is Lighthouse Island where they take you snorkeling. There's Grande Island. Okay, you come on down here and you can see that's the Wild Orchid. We live right next to the Wild Orchid, so that's Beloy Beach right there. And then you keep coming over this direction. Let's get to another landmark. There's Central Park Reef, so you're looking at Barrio Barreto right in there. And then across the bay, you got the shipyard over there, and then of course along a po, over in this direction over to over to the hills over there. Okay, this is the road that that we walked in on. We walked in on that road right there, and if you go down that road, make sure I can try to get you where, where I'm trying to take you here. And then you take a left, we'll be able to see that is the penthouse suite. That roof right there, right in the middle. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> who far out there? You're supposed to say, who, who for art thou, Romeo? 
Well, maybe I'm confusing the two fairy tales. Why? Maybe I'll say Romeo, Romeo. Who's Romeo? Baby, I'm Romeo. trying to shoot a movie here. Just Romeo. go with, just go with the lines. Say, just say, Romeo, Romeo. Tripod. Fatima, bring the tripod. Oh, man, you're so noisy. Oh. <laughs> I just, I just want to make her mad. She's so. She's mad, nah. She's mad. You know why? Cause she ain't got no. She get. She got no food. Fox ain't gonna lie. This last bit from from there to here is the most dangerous part of this mountain. And it's it's when you're the most tired. So you have to be easy, methodical, careful. But this is the most dangerous part of the mountain, is the last little leg getting up here. It's the most technical and the most dangerous part. Help. Spill my beer. Smell ah, it. Only spill. <laughs> Did you spill my beer? <laughs> That's. <laughs> I told you. Achievement, eh? Get up. Down there and gas it out. Sand make light or cold water. Parking lot. Bad part up here. It's not any shape. What happened to my tripod? What happened? That? Honey, you, what happened to the tripod? I don't know. It's in two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby, you broke the tripod and this one spilled half my German beer. Kasalanan ko ba yun? You want me to film you? Then... Panahimik ka dyan. Yung kapoy ko. Alright, Mercy. Welcome to the top. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the grass with the drone we gotta <laughs> we got an aircraft down See all right I buddy make a save here i don't think so i think you're gonna cut the grass with that thing oh folks he even made the situation worse folks we're cutting grass with a dji mavic mini on the side of the mountain here but folks it's down there before that happened at least it's down there we got some good video on it we got to get that we got to recover this here vessel this aircraft Okay, so I tumble down, it'll pay no, the hospital bill. No, I don't want you to bill. tumbling. Well, it'll pay the hospital bill. Yeah, right, right. Marquitos, that's so high! Marcos is on drone recovery mission. He insisted. But I'm not sure about the route he's taking here. I told it you I'm like the... a hell of a drop Here, off. oh, it's good. The girls are Marquitos, quite concerned. It's so high in there! Yeah, right it's here's so pretty low, dude. Oh. Right here looks pretty good. Don't spill the beer. Don't spill the beer. Yeah, she's going down here anyway. Janice, Janice, baby, your ass is so big. You, you're gonna. No, your tummy is big. No, your her ass Pero, is big. 
Talikod ka, Birot! Baby! Ma. Oh my goodness, Janice. Don't go sliding down that hill. Baby girl! Oh, Marquitos! Marquitos! You're so fucked, Lagi! I tell you! Listen, her ass is bigger than my stomach. Who should go? Hanap ka na ano diyan, Birot! Janice. Yeah, that's a little low. Baby, tray okay, place, because I know how to get it. Come up here. Come up here. Get up here. Good job, Janice. Honey, come on Good up job. here. I've been climbing mountains since before yeah. your ass was born. Get your big booty up here out of the way. Come on. Let, <laughs> no, let Big Daddy. Get out of the way. Let me show you how to do this. So big Daddy's going to show you how to so rappel down the side of this slope. <laughs> Janice, uh, no let me rope. show you something, okay? I need you to get out of the way. Come over here, honey. The towel is a drop. Go. Get over there. Maybe with a towel. Papa, <laughs> mo. Are you hot? Oh, it's been hot. We've been hot for 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> get a, oh get my get goodness, a drink. Drink. Get the more. There we go. Oh, Lord. Make sure you ain't gonna lose, lose nothing. Put that, put that remote in my bag over there, baby. Drone recovery okay, mission. Here. Yeah. Maybe we should tie a bunch drone. of shirts together and make a rope. Here, hold our iPhone. <laughs> Let's make us a rope. I mean, Got a yeah, shirt and towels. Yeah. Oh, my kid. Got some loose ground yeah, right yeah. there. Just, just hold it. My He's gonna do the slide. Ah. He's gonna do the ass slide down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you got it, brother. You you gotta gotta he had to keep his cigar intact. <laughs> he almost stopped his cigar on that one. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I'm gonna get back up to this fucking thing. <laughs> Once you're down, right? It might just be a constant all the way down. We'll have to meet you at the bottom. No. Okay. You want a towel? I got a towel to hold yeah, on to. You? Throw him this towel. How did I get here? Hi, Marquita! Let me do it. Watch out. Take this. Here you go, brother. Grab this. Can you grab this towel? Alright, I got you. Are you going? Yep. Yeah. I got you. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold what we got here. We lasso it. <laughs> it's too uh, slippery. There's only one rock right down there below that brush you just kicked down. And there's rock where your foot is. We need some, we need we need a uh, we need two towels. Okay. Yeah. Hold give on. me give me that scarf right yes, there, baby. Yeah. I think well, this so. is gonna pay my hospital bill if something happens. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you're you're in. Yeah, it's all good. You're out. So that you're scarf, in. My, is that strong enough? Oh yeah. How about Hold a shirt? Little bit of that. No, look, baby, let go. Uh, I gotta make it longer. <laughs> <laughs> She's adding too. Let me loosen this up. Let me loosen this up. Yeah, just hold on to All right, it. I got it. I'm not going away. Why don't I cut this towel in half and make it longer? I tell you what, that's a good idea. Let's, let's cut it down the middle. Here, take my new, my new, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My, my pig sticker. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Let's play a game of yard darts. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Just put in there. Be careful. Don't let go, man. I've got, the, I've got the towel. Hold on, let me lay down. I'm the one who gets to it. I got it. You carry? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna shake! Alright, you good? Uh, yeah. It's just a towel. Folks, we just cut the towel up into fours with my pig sticker. And then on repel, on belay. Sir Edmund Hillary on drone recovery on top of Bakilia O Mountain. Coming to you live here in the, oh, shit, in the Philippines. It's a beautiful this day in the neighborhood. The most of the a night. beautiful day for a neighbor. <laughs> Won't you be mine? Hey man, how long does it take to make a fucking rope out of a <laughs> Well, I got, a, a I got a short. You want me to use this one? There ain't much left in here if it starts pulling through. It's strong, but. Bro, that's a scary looking knot. That's scary, that's what I'm saying. Can you, uh, We've tugged on it so much it's hard to get undone. Can so you tell all the subscribers what kind of knot that is? Let me inspect that's that. A, that's a. If you don't. If I can do it right, you're fuck not. Here it goes. Well, that's a great name for a knot. Eric's, Eric's gonna do a block of instruction. <laughs> that's towel. And we made a drone retrieval repel rope out of it. That's a Rapunzel rope. Or Rapunzel's Rapunzel's, Rapunzel's hair. hair piece. Put it on Fatima's head and see how it looks. <laughs> Let's do it.
Okay, we ready? Yep. Put on your belt loop. No, oh, I'm going one arm You're on going the on, wheel. One on cigar, one on that. On oh, repel. On belay. Just <laughs> can't. Get you all the way there. Ready to get you most. I got it wrapped let's, around. Let's there. get uh, let's get, let's get one gringo, uh, one Latina, and one Filipina on the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, oh, go, no, put your skinners on that rope, baby. No, go, Marquito, sweet. Baby, that means help. I'm help so scared now. Poppy, 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 poppy. Let's do it. Poppy, no, you're, you're poppy too in the... Poppy do what? In the baby, bunk. baby, hey. ladies, put your hands on the rope, too. I'm a heavy dude. I'm heavy. I'm Plus, I, I got a beer on board. <laughs> Just kind of give it any sudden, <laughs> sudden pulls. It should hold you pretty good. don't you want to put your hands on there? Oh, she don't need to. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, let's go. Save I'm the right king. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. He ain't going let's nowhere. I got my feet up here and everything. Go, I'm heavy. I'm like a rock up here. He can't move me off but this. But he's heavy too. He's a, have a big tummy. <laughs> You're good. How many times are you going to tell everybody let's that I got a big go. tummy? <laughs> big tummy. You ain't going to have a good tummy after I today. Get way you Mine, get mine's going to go down about five pounds after today's climb. Just want my beer, honey. In the, in the words of many deceased... Oh my God! <laughs> what the hell is that, Ross? In the words of many deceased rednecks. <laughs> oh, Y'all no. watch this shit. Watch this Let's shit. Let's go! I got it. Oh I got God. it. I got it. You got it? Oh yeah. Just do it slowly. Do shit, it slowly. Dude, I, I hear... I don't know the term for the sound of fucking towels going pop, Ripping. pop, pop. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's a, that's a but term. But I'm hearing it. Just do it slowly, I got you. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel! Rapunzel, Let down Rapunzel. your hair. <laughs> <laughs> when oh my away. god, there he does. And I hope that judge ain't blind. What do you say? Amarillo by morning. <laughs> What's that? Amarillo's on my mind. Oh my goodness. You got any extra there? Because I'm at the end of the rope. Um, all right, now listen. Don't pull too tight. Leave I'm, my rope right there. All right, there. I'm leaving it. I'm going belly down. All right. Big doing the worm. belly down, the belly worm. up. Oh! Just doing the worm. <laughs> worm style. Just fold it up. You see that ledge over there? Yeah. yeah. That's death. That's death <laughs> on the ledge. Big belly down, doing the belly worm. up. Did I shear my blades off? Looks like it. Ah, they'll be all right. Oh, they look like they're in good shape. All right, good. You want to fly it or no? Well, would you rather me fly it off and not carry it? You carry it? Yeah, that's it. Better. You let me do it. See if you fly it off. And Hold on. Let me see if I can. Did you fly and get Marcus? <laughs> Hold on. What did I do with it? Sa kain na Everything. Trying to get you down as low as I can. Hold on. Can you get to that? Need about three feet. All right, hold on. Here it comes. Dito ka birut kasi malaki ka bir. Ano ako sa ano? About that. Almost, buddy. I'm good. Just hold what you got. Are you ready? You got me? Yeah. Slowly, it's cracking. <laughs> like you said, giving the pops. It probably holds it. Just don't trash. Lou, yun talaga yung inano niya. Oh, what you got, bro? I got a hand right here. <clears throat> Good job! <sighs>
Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, bro. Uh, careful, careful. Oh, just let me lay here a minute, dog. We keep this rope up here uh. for future use. I'd like to thank my high school coach, my moms, my dad, all the people who are inspirational in my life to help me get to the top of this mountain and rescue this drone and my pig sticker. Where's that pig sticker, oh, man? man yeah. We got to give a big shout out. We got to give a big shout out to this Gerber pig sticker brought to you by Lazada. It's a Gerber de facto knife. Cut up that towel into four pieces. If I didn't have this thing strapped on my side, I shudder to think what the outcome of this incident would be. Towel. Canopy towel from the SM 100% cotton. Yeah. That thing has the tensile strength of a fat, short, <laughs> foreign dude. I'm not going to tell you my weight, but it's Canopy not pretty. Canopy essentials. Canopy yeah. essentials. Let's give a shout out, man. We, we got You know what I'm thinking about doing? We could auction off this towel in a charity <laughs> auction. The towel that saved the king on the side of Bakilia Oak Mystery oh, Mountain. Yeah. My goodness, <laughs> folks, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> you cannot put a price on a good time. You just can't put a price on a good time, can you? Wait till the camping trip. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you think this is something? I'm going to fish on the bottom. Wait for the big monster to come along. Folks, then fish with your little... If there's a big electromechanical... Or le le is it? No, electromagnetic pulse. The only message in the world you're going to see is what uh, wife number two is putting here on the top of Bakilia Oak at the Mystery Mountain Complex. I think we should set up a communications tower here to monitor the fucking Chinese. I think I'm gonna establish a listening post up here to intercept Chinese communications between uh, everybody in the South China Sea and Beijing. Until Xi Jinping pays me my $17 million, he owes me. I'm going to perform a little distance test here with the DJI Mavic Mini. Because we have such a clear view out to this little Castle Island. I'm going to see how close I can get to Castle Island and get back to the mountain without running out of battery. Right. Clear field of view to that little Castle Island. And we have the interference of nothing up here. There's no Wi-Fi interference. It should be just clean. And I've got my range extender here on my, on my antenna to help me out a little bit. We'll see what happens. I got a full battery in the drone. Let's take off. Let's do it, folks. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. No time like the present. Let's not waste any of this juice. Let's do a little pre flight test after our crash. It looks like, looks like everything is functioning normally. All right, off we go. All right, so we got them in focus. So we're gonna keep the middle square on the drone in Castle Island. Yeah. All right, bro, move out at your your leisure, bro. I'm gonna straighten it up. Yeah, we are just gonna cruise. Top speed. Top speed. Oh shit! There he goes. Got it coming straight for us here. I'm sweating bullets, mainly because it's hot as hell. No way. Tense moments. Whoosh. Hey, begin low. I'm almost over the field. It's straight ahead. Oh, there. there he is! Yeah! Come on, Lucky! Come on, Lucky! Come on, dude! Come on, Lucky! Here's Lucky! Yay! Lucky made it back! Where you been, dog? Yeah, don't be cutting no more grass, man. You're out of the hay business. Yeah! Woo! Hey, shh. Pour it over my head. That's how to cool off. Cool them off. Oh, fuck, it's cold. That's cold, my cooler. <laughs> go ahead, go for it. That's Woo. how you cool them off. That's it. Woo! That's it. Now, let me get a little bit of that. Oh, baby. my gosh, that's yeah, cold. And that'll cool you off, right? Just That's right here in my great. hand, baby. I don't want it over my head. Oh ah. my goodness. That was wonderful. All right, I'm ready. What a shock. Janice, cool <laughs> off, baby. 
Yeah, folks, we're, we're cleaning up. We're cleaning up everybody else's trash up here. If you come up here, take your damn trash back down the mountain. Tell them. Take your trash with you. Pick it up. Don't pass it up. And say it in Spanish, Mercy. Give it to them hard in Spanish. Si vienes aquí, toma tu tu basura contigo. Llévala contigo and manténlo limpio. There you go. That's it. With the wet towel on the head. So to the mountain I say, until the next time, my friend, thank you for allowing us to climb on you. Time to roll down the mountain, folks. Ladies, stay low. Stay low, stay low. All right, so they're going, they're going around this way, and what they're saying is that this way is an easier route. You got it. Good job, baby. Marcos is... Marcos will bring up the lead or bring up the rear. Okay, folks, just making sure we didn't leave any of our trash. There's still a couple pieces of trash, but that's other, other folks' trash. We took all of our trash and then some. But the message is, if you come up here, pump your trash off of the fucking mountain. I think I agree with everybody that this is the better way to go so far. Seems yeah, like the easier way, way to go. Much safer. Coming up this route. It's much safer if you have a proper pair of foot gear like Merrill's on. You got the blue suede shoes. You got the blue suede shoes on. Hey, folks, I gave everybody a little safety brief before we departed. And not that I'm an expert mountain climber, but what I've read and what people say is that most of the mountain climbing accidents happen on the way down, not on the way up. Because when you're on the way down, you're already fatigued from the climb up. You're in a hurry to get back down because, you know, you've already accomplished your objective. You don't want to play anymore. And you're hungry, you're thirsty, or... It's getting dark, so people get in a hurry and they don't pay attention as much as they did on the way up. I was just trying to tell everybody, hey, let's take it slow down the mountain. We have all day. We've had a great time and there's no reason to get into any type of hurry. Look at that girl, she's so beautiful with my tractor supply hat. I'm thinking about getting both my ladies a tractor supply hat and that's what they're gonna wear all the time, my friends. Let's go up to ND2. It's a little bright out here now. Switch it to ND filter 2 on the Sony FDR AX100. I'm at zero on the gain, 60 on the shutter speed, and F6.2. Let's see, you got this beautiful easy walking spot right here which is a natural break when you're coming up this beast and janice for whatever reason wanted to wear the backpack and i said baby give me the backpack she did she said no she wanted to wear it Got a lizard over here saying tuke tuke that's it can't see him, but he's in there. Now, folks, people ask me about snakes coming up on this uh, particular climb. I've never seen a snake on any of my climbs up this particular mountain. I want food. I'm so hungry. Fatima. Baby. Always eating. Got to get low on this one. Whee! Folks, for some reason, between my blue suede shoes and all them beers I drink, I'm nimble. I'm nimble like a fucking mountain lion, like a cougar. Rawr! All right, blue suede shoes, don't fail me now. Motherfuckers got a grip like a goddamn spider. 
like a suction cup. Boom, look at that. Ha cha! Ha cha! Janice took about a five second pause at that tree. She was looking like she was a little under the weather, but then she just perked up and took off like sea biscuit. Baby, you know what? You're dancing on that pole. We could get you a job at the go-go, baby. <laughs> All right, folks, we're getting close. We're almost done with this little hike. We're hearing dogs barking, birds chirping, roosters crowing. And oh, yeah, by the way, right here where these dogs are barking, there's nothing but briars. I mean, look at that. That looks like barbed wire, which is funny because there is a barbed wire fence right next to you but these briars are natural barbed wire where that's artificial barbed wire next to these yappers but yeah if you come over here don't don't think this is a fucking sightseeing tour folks this is this is an all-day hump so so how how was the hike tough tough for this lady yeah good for our old bones we needed it didn't think I was going to make it at first, but pushed on, made oh it to the top. God, yeah, so any, of, any, uh, right any words of wisdom, if there's somebody sitting on a bar stool at, uh, in bar, Barrio Barreto at Barcelona and they want to come climb the mountain with their lady or ladies, any uh, after action review or recommendations if they're going to climb this mountain on a day trip? Get in shape first. <laughs> <laughs> take it slow. I'm not in yeah. shape by no means and I made it, but take your time, take some breaks, drink some water, and carry less shit than we did because I had about 20 pounds in this backpack I didn't need to take. But I needed the drone. It was great to have the drone footage. That's extra weight. I mean, the average person's going to climb up here and not have nothing but maybe water and a towel. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's a good oh, climb, and though. Beers. Oh, yeah, you got to have the beers. Bring your marrows, man. You got to have those. They're dusty, but they're... Definitely need some proper shoes oh, for the foreign guy, right? Yeah, we've got to get some good shoes on, whether they're Merrells or not. Just yeah, it's something that something comfy. Good. <laughs> Shout out to the neighbors here. You know, we're disturbing your dogs, creating a little friction coming through here. Thanks for putting up with us. Uh, putting up with us foreign dudes coming up your mountain here. They got good security. I don't think you want to come over here and try to rob nothing. You got a, you got a horde, of, horde of dogs here. Just don't bite me, dog. Don't bite me. I'm not afraid of your bite. I just don't want to take them fucking rabies shots and cost me lots of money. Right there. It's like a half squirrel. All right, so we were talking about time. It's around 1.30. So we, we departed over there at our place at 8.30. You figure we got to Jason's around 9 o'clock. And by the time we get back, it's 2. So say 9 to 2. That's uh, 5 hours. That's a little 5-hour trek. I say it's a day trip, but we did it in about 5 hours. How you doing, my friends? You doing okay? Uh, it's about a 5-hour trek. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to take the scenic route. We'll just show them where Francis lives and our little route to walk. Janice is carrying the backpack and the tripod now. So I asked wife number one, I said, baby, why is Janice carrying the tripod and the, and the backpack? And she said, oh, she wanted to carry. She wanted She's the one who gets. I know, honey. And you said that she's younger than you, right? Okay, but how old are you, baby? 30. You're not 30, honey. How old are you, baby? I'm 30 years old. Honey, you're you're 20 something. J I'm 30 years old. Janice, how old are you, honey? So Janice is the ripe old age of 20. This one here is 20 something. But she loves this Ate concept and the wife number one concept. She is milking it. She loves it. She milks it because Janice is such a sweet girl. And she loves Ate. So Fatima is just taking a nice leisurely stroll. Yeah. <laughs> Janice, Janice is carrying the, the backpack and the, the good thing is there's nothing in the backpack. The bag of ice, the sand lights, 
the four German beers and the four waters that was consumed on top of that mountain. Three days I'm sleep, huh? Three days rest, Marquita, huh? Honey, why would you need sleep day, three days sleep, Fatima? I'm, I'm so tired, eh? Folks, Fatima is a little gangster. Nobody feels sorry for her because she's a straight up gangster. Janice does all the cooking. Fatima does all of the eating and the sleeping. A little sorry, sorry store here. It's closed. If you came over here and climbed that mountain every day for six months, you can climb Everest. Oh, I know. I've never been up Everest. Okay, motherfuckers. But I've, I've hiked fucking mountains over in that region. But I'm going to tell you right now. You come over here, get you a place, hike that mountain every day for six months, you we will be in shape to go up Mount Everest. Consider that a training mountain. That's a training mountain. Mystery mountain. You'd be in the best Hello, shape everyone. How are you? All right, let's not get run over here. All right. All right, let's do it. All right, so now we're walking in the straight up sunshine, but just a little bit down here. That's about the size of that cooler you got right there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Folks, I got some big ass coolers for this next camping trip. It was inadvertent. They look a lot smaller on Lazada, but these fucking coolers are huge, and I got two of them. They're not coolers, they're fish boxes. Working on the river, river improvement here to help the flooding in this area. Hello, my friends. How are you? Yeah. All right. I'm fine. Okay. Cool, man. I'll put you on my YouTube channel. Awesome. Come over here, and take a look at the river. Been on a mountain. Let's let's look at a river. How can you not want to look at a river? See if we got some tilapia. Oh shit, that's a drop off right there. Careful, there's a drop, brother. So you can see the improvements in the river. They put, you know, basically concrete sides to this thing to uh, try to control the flooding. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. <laughs> well, it's back at Jason's place. There's my boy. Hey, hey buddy. Hello. What's up, buddy? Miss you you having a good time? We miss you. What you doing, Baba? Oh, he's having fun. That might be the best water I ever had. Now, folks, we put an ND filter on so we can see. But look, this this is the view from Jason's patio. My God, it's a beautiful view. I could wake up every morning, just sit out here, have some coffee. Okay, but let me just show you. You can see those white rocks, but let me zoom in and show you where we just came from. And you can see those rocks, I mean, from all around. There's no mistake in this mountain. So we are right there on top of that thing. It's like a snow, snow crested peak, but there ain't no damn snow up there. <laughs> you, you can fill that up whenever you feel.